President Rodrigo Duterte announces Thursday, July 11, he plans to dismiss 64 employees of the Bureau of Customs or BOC. I, I will be dismissing something like 64 customs employees. In the meantime, that their cases are being heard in obedience of the rule of the right to be heard, I want them to be here in Malacanan. The names of the 64 are not revealed, but presidential spokesperson Salvador Panelo says Customs Commissioner Ray Guerrero is not among them. This comes after Duterte ordered Wednesday, July 10, the freezing of customs employees in line with his administration's zero-tolerance policy on corruption. The president has often called the Bureau one of the most corrupt agencies in government. Newbie legislator Ang Provinciano Partilist Representative Alfred De Los Santos is in hot water after a video showing him punching a waiter circulates online. The incident happened on the morning of Sunday, July 7 in Legaspi City. The video shows the waiter, 20-year-old Christian Kent Alejo, at the table of De Los Santos and his three companions. The congressman stood up and attempted to hit the waiter with his left hand. Alejo is not pressing charges against the congressman, but Ang Provinciano Partilis on Thursday, July 11, says it is concerned and really disappointed with what happened. The Partilis group says in a statement, it will not hesitate to suspend or even expel De Los Santos if warranted. The party banked on the popularity of the long-running TV series of the same name, with endorsements from show stars Coco Martin and Yassi Pressman. The Angat Dam in Bulacan again drops below its critical level of 160 meters Thursday, July 11. State Weather Bureau Pagasa says the Angat Dam's water level plunged to 159.93 meters as of 6 a.m. Thursday. It had first gone below 160 meters last June 22, then inched back above 160 meters at the start of July as the southwest monsoon or hanging habagat triggered much-needed rain. The minimum operating water level of the Angat Dam is 180 meters and authorities are expecting it to return to this level by August or September. Until then, customers of Manila Water and Maynila Water Services will continue to experience daily service interruptions. International human rights lawyer Amal Clooney laments government attacks on journalists around the world, including rapper CEO and executive editor Maria Ressa. At the inaugural Global Media Freedom Conference in London, Clooney says Rappler's hard-hitting stories on the human rights abuses led to a string of cases against Ressa, with the government having her arrested and exposed to a maximum sentence of 63 years in prison. Rappler.com quickly became one of the leading online news portals in the Philippines. Known for its hard-hitting stories about human rights abuses under the administration of President Rodrigo Duterte, Clooney is the British government's special envoy on media freedom and has criticized U.S. President Donald Trump for his rhetoric against the media. Rapper Jay-Z becomes the latest celebrity to enter the weed business, signing on to be the chief brand strategist for a California-based cannabis company. The rapper says he reached out to company Kaliva after a wide search for a suitable partner in the booming industry. As chief strategist, the 49-year-old rapper will help the company with creative decisions and outreach efforts and strategy for the brand. The cannabis business is spreading fast in the United States as more and more states legalize it for recreational purposes.